I have seen a lot of anime in my time, and a lot of shonen anime at that, so this week I decided I want to talk about my favorite shonen anime and why I like them so much. Of course, this is all my opinion, and people are going to have different opinions than me, and I would love to hear yours down in the comments. Anyways though, let's jump right into this with the first one on the list. So to start things off, I'm going to talk about the most recent entry on this list, Spy Family. I love this series. It is hilarious. The comedy is always on point no matter what, which makes the series really enjoyable. The characters are all really lovable and they all have amazing interactions with each other that make the comedy even better. There are a few serious moments in this series that I really like as well. It is a good change of pace from the constant barrage of comedy and it helps develop the characters to make them a lot more lovable. The series is also just super wholesome, which I mean, what would you expect from a series about family? But the series is just genuinely wholesome. The series is insanely well animated as well. That makes sense considering it is a collaboration between Cloverworks and Wit Studio, but it is still really well made. Everything looks clean, especially the action scenes, those are amazing and just look clean as fuck. Spy Family is just a series that I find to be really enjoyable and most people would agree with me on that. Now this one might be a little controversial to be this low on the list, especially after you see some of the stuff I have later on this list that I like way more, but I still really like this anime. I just don't think it is the best anime ever made like all the people on MAL seem to think. That's right, I'm sure you've guessed it by now, I'm talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This anime is great for so many different reasons. The world building is next level and it gets you really invested. The characters are all amazing. You can get really invested in the characters very easily. Their interactions are great. The characters feel like friends and allies as they should feel like. The show has a really good balance between comedy and serious moments that helps with liking the characters and building up the story way more. The animation still holds up extremely well to this day considering it came out in 2009. The action and fight choreography is insane. The fights are super entertaining, especially because of the unique power system this anime uses. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a really good anime that I find hard to rate highly, mostly because of the fans, but I still absolutely love this anime. So I'm going to be talking about a series that most people probably expected if you are a fan of shonen anime, and that series is Hunter x Hunter. I'm pretty sure almost everybody who has watched this anime would rate this in their top 10 favorite shonen anime, if not higher than that. And there's a good reason for this, and that is that this anime just does everything right. The animation is pretty good even now that it has been over a decade. It still looks amazing, but the big thing is the story and characters. Let's start with the story. The story is just super compelling. There isn't really much of anything that the series does wrong. It had me hooked right from the very beginning and never let off the gas. I did find the beginning of the Command Ant arc boring as hell, but that arc ended up to be amazing in the end. The series just had such great world building that it is hard not to get invested in the story and the characters. Speaking of that, the characters in this series are amazing. I don't think there is a single character in this anime that I hate. Like they are all so well written that it is hard to hate any of them. We learn their motivations and backstories and they often have great personalities. I don't often see a cast as big as Hunter x Hunter's that has so many amazing characters in it, but this series has managed to find a good balance between writing the main cast and the side cast that makes the whole series lovable. All of these reasons are why I love Hunter x Hunter so much. So to get off of action anime for a bit, I want to move on to my favorite sports anime. This one was quite a bit older than newer series like Haikyuu or Blue Log, and yet it still holds up tremendously well. The anime in question is Slam Dunk. This anime is amazing, like everything about it is so good. If you are new to basketball, you can learn enough from this anime to be at least somewhat decent in real life. Of course, you would still need to practice, but you would at least have the knowledge of what you need to do. The characters in this series are awesome as well. Hanamichi is one of the coolest protagonists for a series like this, and his development throughout the series is next level. But not just Hanamichi, there are so many other great characters in this anime from the people on his team to Hanamichi's friends to even some of the other characters on other teams. There are just so many great characters and the anime does a really good job at having them interact with each other and make them feel very genuine. I fell in love with the characters of this series strictly due to how well written they are. The animation for this series holds up really well as well considering the series came out in the early 90s. It still looks really good and the character movements are nice. The games look good as well. Slam Dunk is a series that I think despite its age holds up extremely well today. It has so many good elements to it that it makes the series extremely enjoyable. Now this next one won't really be much of a surprise as I'm sure a lot of people have this on their list of favorite shonen anime. However, this only recently entered mine as I only watched Bleach in the past couple of years, but it quickly became one of my favorite shonen anime. Bleach has pretty solid characters. I don't think there is a single character in the main cast who I outright hate. 
I do think some of the characters got shafted towards the end when it comes to power scaling, but in terms of personality, I like them all. Their interactions are nice as well. There is some good comedy mixed in with the more serious stuff, which is great and makes the characters more likable, especially the non-combatants in the cast. By the end of the series, I understand a lot about Bleach's world and how it functions. We learn about all the different realms and all the different races and how they get along. You learn all about the stuff during this anime, which makes everything so much easier to understand and makes it really nice to watch as well. Out of the big three, Bleach always stood above the other two in terms of animation, and you can definitely see that, as even early Bleach still holds up surprisingly well. Bleach is one of those series that gets a lot of hate for falling off in its later half, but I honestly think that it only gets better after Soul Society. I never understood why people didn't like the Arankar stuff, as I find that stuff to be so good. <laughs> Next up is an anime that everybody knows and loves. Hell, it even recently crashed Crunchyroll with its finale dropping. Yep, you know it, you love it, it's Attack on Titan. This anime was just so good. I have never seen an anime take such a stark shift in tone from one season to the next and still somehow be amazing. Like season 1 feels a lot more like a traditional shonen anime, but then you get to season 2 and the tone completely shifts into something way darker and it keeps that tone throughout the rest of its run. AOT is special because I don't think there is a single prominent character in the show that I dislike outside of the one that I'm supposed to dislike. Like, every character is just so well written and developed so well. The characters are for sure the best part of this anime and is not even close. The world building is insanely good as well. Considering we are stuck in one location for three seasons, we still get so much lore and backstory about how the world got where it is today and why these characters are doing what they're doing. The more we learn throughout the series, the more questions you have until you get to the end where everything gets answered. AOT never lets off the gas for even a second, and I love that, as this series just keeps going all the way to its amazing finale. The animation in AOT is really good as well. Both Wit and Mappa did a phenomenal job animating this series, and the different styles work so well for the different points of the story. Mappa's darker and grittier style works so well for the final season and makes the whole anime just feel so much better. AOT is amazing for a lot of different reasons, but everything above this point holds a really special place in my heart that AOT just couldn't surpass despite how amazing this show is. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money. Alright, so next up for me is Naruto. This is a series that I grew up watching, so it will always hold a special place in my heart just for that alone. But I do also think that this series is great on its own. Naruto does have its flaws, like the fact that a lot of its characters get shafted by the time we get to the time skip in favor of just a few characters. However, I still really like all of the characters in Naruto even if most of them stop being relevant after the time skip. They all just have such cool personalities and their fighting styles are all pretty unique in comparison to that of Naruto's punching and kicking and Sasuke's jutsu spam. The world building in Naruto is great as well. We learn quite a bit about the world and all of its ninja villages. We get to see the different cultures of the different villages and how that develops into their ninja. Naruto's world building does fall apart a little bit once you get to the alien talk, which does get a little bit jumbled, but there is still so much I love about Naruto. Naruto still has some of the best fights in anime. Some of these fights are insanely well animated. They are iconic for a reason. I think there is a very solid reason as to why this series got so big in the west, and that is because of just how awesome a lot of the fights in the series were. Hell, even in Boruto, there are still some pretty awesome fights. Naruto will always hold a special place in my heart and will always be one of my favorite series. So this one is definitely going to be controversial, but I really don't care in this instance. Fairy Tail is one of my all-time favorite shonen, and that is mostly because of when I watched it. I watched this anime during my lowest time. I was in and out of the hospital and I never really got a chance to hang out with friends, but I discovered this anime at the time and it made me feel like I was a part of the Fairy Tail guild, going on adventures and having a good time. And that is my favorite thing about Fairy Tail. It makes you feel like you are a part of the story through the characters and how they interact with each other. The characters are by far the best part of this anime. The fairy tale guild members all feel like a family and they get along really well, seeing their interactions with each other is what makes the anime so enjoyable. One of the biggest complaints thrown towards fairy tale's way is how it relies too much on the power of friendship. But as I've been describing this entire time, that never really bothered me, actually it enhanced the series for me. This series is all about how close the guild is to one another, so of course when one of them gets hurt or is in serious trouble, some people are going to get a massive power boost in order to save their friends. So for me, it never really felt out of place, but I do get why people don't like it. The animation for this anime is great, even the original season still looks pretty good. Fairy Tail overall just looks great. Fairy Tail holds a special place in my heart. I understand why some people don't really like this anime, but for me, it will always be one of my favorites. <laughs> Now, it was hard for me to place this one over Fairy Tail, as both of these anime are pretty important to me, but after deliberating for a while, I decided that I would put Black Clover in second place. And that is for two main reasons. The first one being that I think the series is just better. 
But besides that, this was the first big name shonen anime that I watched from the first episode all the way to when it came into an end, so like for me, this is what Naruto was for the people in the 2000s. I grew up watching Naruto, but it wasn't until about 5 or 6 years ago that I actually watched it all the way through, so Black Clover was my first anime like that. But anyway, let's actually get talking about this series. Black Clover, similarly to Fairy Tale, makes you feel like you are a part of the main cast going on adventures and having fun. The characters are so well written, and that's what makes this series so much better. Black Clover also has what I would consider to be one of the best female characters in Shonen, Noelle. Of course, that's subjective, but her character journey has been amazing, and the fact that she isn't just some weak damsel in distress makes her character even better in my opinion. The world building of Black Clover is pretty good as well. We get to explore quite a lot of the world and see how different kingdoms function and how they use their magic. Every kingdom has its own unique culture that makes the world feel vast and makes you want to explore the world more. The animation of Black Clover is sadly hit or miss, but when it hits, it hits so hard and it is just such an incredible series. Black Clover is one of the best shown in anime and it sadly doesn't get enough love in comparison to some other series. Alright, I'm just going to cut to the chase. One Piece is one of my favorite shonen anime, and just one of my favorite anime, period. The series is just so good on every level. I think we all know by now that One Piece has godlike world building, but it really is just amazing. The world building is one of the biggest reasons why I fell in love with this series as much as I did. I just got super invested in everything going on in the One Piece world, from what our main characters are doing to what some stupid dog on some random island in the East Blue is doing. One Piece has this ability to get you invested in the most random of things. I'm pretty sure One Piece will be the only series where you will cry over an inanimate object. That's just how good the writing is. The characters are also amazing. I don't hate a single straw hat and that says a lot because if this was any other series, I would despise a character like Sanji. But because of Oda's godlike writing, even a character like Sanji is lovable, which is crazy. But one of the main things I love about the characters is that despite how large the cast is, this series always keeps you wondering about what certain characters are doing during the events that we are currently seeing. It always keeps you on your toes, which is awesome. One Piece overall has pretty mid animation, but there are some moments, plus the entirety of Wano, that do look amazing. Hell, episode 1015 is still, in my opinion, the best anime episode I have ever seen. So, although the animation is less consistent than Black Clover, there are still so many amazing moments that stand out to me. One Piece quickly rose to be one of my all-time favorite series and my favorite shonen series because of so many different things that make it good. So that was my list. Feel free to leave yours down in the comments below and debate me if you disagree with the placements of things. This was a list derived of series that are close to my heart for one reason or another, but I would still love to hear your opinions as well.